So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the mouth of the cow. It has some double crochets in it so it can be a little tricky. I start off with my sloppy slip knot and then I chain four. So that's one, two, three, four. There we go. Now the instructions say double crochet five in the fourth chain from hook. So this is one, two, three, four. It's the one we started on. Now I'm going to double crochet five times. So that's one, two, double crochets always take longer than a single crochet. Three, four, wah, ah, four, <laughs> and five. Okay, so you can see that my hole has gotten a little bigger, but that's no problem. I can just tug it closed. That's what the sloppy slip knot does. And I finished row one. So this row one you're also going to see in the spot, part um, two of the spot that we'll be crocheting. So you can come back and watch this later for that part. So to do row two, it says chain three. Okay, and I don't want to catch that tail up. One, two, three, and turn. Now it says double crochet once in the next stitch. I can do that. And then it says double crochet twice in each of the remaining stitches. So I'm going to go ahead, this is my next stitch, and I'm going to double crochet twice in it. Now it doesn't much matter whether you um, go through both loops or just one loop. You're not really going to see the other side of the mouth. I usually just go through the front loop because that's easiest for me, but if you like going through both loops, then rock on and do that. I'm double crocheting twice in each stitch. And keep in mind that the chain three at the beginning of the, or sorry, the chain three that you did at the start of the previous row counts as a stitch. So that's why the stitch count says three double, cro sorry, three single crochet. That's why the stitch count says three chains equal double crochet. So this little guy right here is the top of the chain three and he counts as a stitch. And if you weren't sure about whether or not that was true, all you have to do is count how many double crochets you have at the end. And if you didn't have enough, then you need to do more. So we can count the V's. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's perfect. We were supposed to have twelve, so we did the right number. I'm gonna cut leaving a long tail and fasten off by drawing the yarn through. And there you go. You have a mouth that looks like a great half circle.